Hi, it's Nathan and Koton. Welcome to another episode of my channel where I share with you my life journey. So as you know, recently I'm a little obsessed with canoeing and two weeks ago I bought an inflatable canoe and I've been canoeing in Galveston. So if you haven't seen that video, I put the link in the description below. So check it out. It's a lot of fun canoeing in Galveston. And if you want to see all my other adventures in Texas, please go to the playlist named Texas. All the other videos are also there. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate that. And in this video, I will show you the wooden canoes that I just purchased a few days ago. It's a second hand I found on Facebook Marketplace. It was a Kenosha by White Salmon Boat Works. The Kenosha was awarded the best paddle boat at the Portland Wooden Canoe Show in 2001, 2006, 2013. Though my uh, Kenosha was built here locally in Houston by a Norwegian American. So after Canute built the boat in 2010, it got a silver award at the Nils and Wills Concourse, the Elegance, in the same year. This week, the weather in Houston was terrible for the whole weekend, but luckily on Sunday, uh, it cleared up a little bit in the morning. So I decided to take the Kenosha to Palmetto State Park to try it out on flat water. So before that, I was doing research on portaging a canoe. So basically, it was just lifting carrying a canoe all by yourself. But when I got to my parents' house, I noticed that it was impossible for me to load the canoe on the top of my Jeep all by myself. But luckily, my dad was home, so he was able to help me lift it up. And remember, the Kenosha is a huge boat for one person. It's uh, 19 feet long. So after i got everything on the top of my car secure everything it was about noon when i was ready to head out to the state park but i was further delayed because i made a mistake not knotting the rope to the front and the back of the canoe to the car so the canoe shifted to the passenger side when i was driving on highway i-10 and I had to exit and stop at a gas station to re-secure the whole thing. The moment that I arrived at Palmetto State Park, I parked my car right in front of the office to get my day use permit. And then a few rangers stopped by the car and complimented on the canoe and asked me questions about it. So having the rangers there was a good thing because I was able to ask one of them to help me get the canoe off to the ground which I couldn't have been able to do all by myself. Then after that, uh, I didn't have any problem carry the canoe out to the loading uh, dock. So I did research how to carry the canoe. It's not about strength, they said. It's all about technique. And uh, I was making sure that my knees were bent when I was carrying the canoe and uh, launch it into the water. Because remember, after all, the canoe was only 50 pounds, so it's not that heavy. Oslo Lake was a perfect place for me to practice the canoe, and especially my first time in the Kenosha, because the water was so calm and the lake wasn't so big. The Kenosha cut through water beautifully, and at the same time, I was flying my MacBook Pro, trying to film myself canoeing back and forth uh, around the lake. So this is when something bad, very bad happened, and you can't even believe it. <laughs> yeah, I lost my drone here at the park. So usually, when the battery on the drone hit about 30%, I will retrieve it before the battery dies. 
So this time I was in the middle of the lake. The battery indicator said around 34%. So I was perfectly okay. I started paddling back to the launching dock and trying to land the drone there. So when I got there, the drone was literally, I left it about a few feet away. But when after I tied up my boat to the dock, the drone was nowhere to be found. So I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? And I look at the screen, it had about 15% battery, so it was, it should be totally fine. And then when I noticed, it said that it was flying back home to land. I was like, home? And then all of a sudden I realized that I launched the drone on the other side of the lake and it's pretty far away and the last thing that I saw was when it crashed down and I saw some reeds and branches so I knew that it crashed on land and not into the water uh, so I got hooked on and then walked around the lake trying to locate the drone it was so hot and uh, it was exhausting but there's no luck I couldn't see it anywhere so after that, I got back into the canoe and trying to paddle along the edge of the lake, the outside, around the reeds and branches area to see if it got stuck there. After about two hours looking, I finally have to accept that I really lost my drone. So well, at least Koton and I were okay. And we really enjoy uh, watching sunset over Oslo Lake. And after that, I decided to spend the rest of the afternoon canoeing around the lake, practicing all the canoeing strokes that I was learning at the time. So I, well, besides for that fact that I lost my drone, I actually had a really good time at the park canoeing. And I'm glad that I bought the Kenosha and try out for the first time on flat water. It was about 7.30 p.m. when I finally docked the canoe to the river bank and then carry the canoe all by myself back to the grass area next to the car. It wasn't that difficult because the canoe wasn't so heavy, even though it looked heavy. And then when I was cleaning the inside of the canoe because I didn't want to take all that dirt and water and all the debris that I actually got into the canoe all the way home with me. And then another park visitor stopped by and he complimented on the canoe. He said that his family and he was barbecuing on the other side of the lake and they saw the canoe and they thought it was beautiful. And he said that it's too beautiful to be in the water. So that was uh, pretty nice of him to say that. So I asked him to help me uh, load the canoe back onto my Jeep, uh, which I'm very glad that he said yes. Because again, I, could, I couldn't have been able to do it all by myself. After that, I had no trouble strapping the canoe back onto the roof rack and this time I really made I really wanted to make sure that the canoe won't shift again when I drive back home and then I also nodded to the front and the back of uh, my car so I did a really good job I think because I didn't have any problem with the canoe all the way home to Houston I can't believe I lost my drone when I flew it around the lake Where I was canoeing The battery was low It flew away on its own I lost it, I lost it Can't believe I lost it I lost it, I lost it Can't believe I lost it The stupid drone just flew away To the other side of the lake where I was canoeing and now I have no drone <sighs> forget about it and go home thank you for watching another episode on my channel and I hope that you enjoy watching me canoeing on the Oslo Lake in Palmetto State Park 
please comment below in the comment section. I would love to hear your opinion about the canoe or just anything that you want to say. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time on another adventure in Texas. Bye!